गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट साई राम टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आर नेक्स्ट चैप्टर विच इज बिजनेस एनवायरमेंट चैप्टर नंबर थ्री ओके नाउ बिजनेस एनवायरमेंट बिफोर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस चैप्टर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी ऑल नोज वट इज एनवायरमेंट एनवायरमेंट मीन्स आर सराउंडिंग वे आर वी एग्जिस्ट एंड बिजनेस एनवायरमेंट मीन्स द सराउंडिंग वे आर बिजनेस एग्जिस्ट is known as business environment okay so it is its simple meaning the uh, meaning of business environment but the meaning of business environment according to the business studies according to the commerce is different its meaning is it is the term business environment which means the sum of all individuals institutions and other forces that are outside the control of a business enterprise but they may affect performances so business environment means means all the other forces and which is uh, which may be external force internal force which come out from outside the world and affect our business okay is known as business environment like forces like in uh, internal forces like customers institutions and other competitors and um external like growth in gdp and increase in taxes situation of deflation situation of inflation any any um, environmental problem like any diseases like corona virus which also affect our environment and also our economy okay now these days this covid 19 also affect our environment our business our market and also our economy okay now now we are going to start our next topic which is nature and feature of management there are six features of management number one is totality of external sources forces second specific and general forces third interrelatedness fourth dynamic nature fifth uncertainty and sixth is complexity okay we are going to explain it all on it one by one number one is totality of external forces okay in business environment we study what are the forces which affect our uh, business and which we cannot control okay so now uh, here the force is also divided into two parts number one is internal force and second one is external force internal force we can control a company control the external forces like the uh, the number of stock any other internal problem which a company handle or control but a company cannot handle the external forces which are like any economical force any technological force like change in fashion change in trend okay we cannot control it okay so the first feature is totality of external forces it means business environment is uh, effect or it is a study of external forces okay now next is specific and general forces here external forces are also divided into two parts number one is specific force and no, number second is general force specific means which these are those forces which affect individual unit okay like um if we take an example like increase in the customer uh, custom duty if the custom duty increases then it affect only import export business not in all the business okay only import export business or export import uh, companies will affect okay but general forces like 
increase in taxes gst these these uh, these type of forces affect whole group of companies whole business okay and each and every business okay understood number one is totality of external force second one is specific and general force means external force is divided into two part number one is specific and second is general specific force which affect the specific unit of a business like um, example which we take uh, increase in the um, increase in the t custom duty which affect only the import export business and general force means which affect all businesses all companies like increase in tax any law which passed by the government etc next is interrelatedness these forces are related to each other internally related like um, let's we take an example yes like change in the lifestyle of a people like lifestyle like nowadays many people work on their health think about their health they start going gym do yoga and this also increase the demand of sugar free products fat free products so it affects the whole market in the gym business in yoga in yoga or in the product which uh, comes into this situation like sugar free products fat free products okay so these forces are interrelated and both of these affect the business so we can say that all these forces all the external forces interrelated to each other now next one is dynamic nature yes dynamic dynamic nature means it is rapidly changes and we have to adapt according to it in the dynamic way to get success means if we want a success then we have to study the business environment we we have to take the advantage of these forces and then make our business activity activities according to this and make our plan according to that okay so we can say that business environment is rapidly changes changing and we have to adopt it if we want to stand in a market stand in a business okay now next one is uncertainty these forces are uncertain or we can say that these forces are frequently changes like fall in our economy due to corona virus is also an external force which is uncertain so we can say that these forces are uncertain we cannot measure it we cannot accept expect this but it affect our business directly or indirectly okay now next one is complexity these forces are very complex we don't know how these uh, forces affect our business okay because its effect is different is um, differ from one co uh, company to another company so it is very complex we uh, uh, we have to take time to understand this so we have so first uh, what we can do then we have to study the business environment collect all the information around the uh, about the external forces then we have to take um, modification take step accord according to it okay so we can say that it is uh, business environment is very complex it is not easy to understand now next is need and importance of business environment why we need business environment if we are not aware about the changes which rapidly occur then we don't have a time to understand it and take action according to it so it is very important to study business environment and study all uh, forces which affect our business directly or indirectly now 
there are five importance of business environment it enables the firm to identify opportunity and getting the first mover advantage second it helps the firm to identify threats and early warning signals it helps in tapping uh, tapping resources it helps in coping with rapid change it helps in assisting in planning and formulation now we are going to learn it one by one okay first is first mover advantage when we scan or study environment then we will know about the changes which affect our company so that we identify opportunities to improve our performance for example maruti is one of the first car manufacturing company who analyze that the large portion of india is of middle class so he launch the average budget cars for our indian economy okay so and make and also make profit so we can say that the maruti suzuki maruti manufacturing assume or identify the opportunity that in india the middle class afford the average budget cars and then he he gets the first mover advantage to launch these type of cars and make profit so we can say that it is a study if uh, it is a study if we can study our environment so we can take first mover advantage okay now second is identify threats and early warning signals it also helps the firm to identify threat and also it also give us a early warning signal like uh, after studying business environment we also got the information about those external forces which become a threat for us okay and we will get the early warning to handle it how we can handle it to understand this point let's take an example if indian company comes to know that mncs will come in india and affect indian indian company so after knowing knowing this early warning signal indian company increases increases its production and try to capture the whole market so that when mnc will come it does not affect the indian companies so that we can say that it is very helpful to understand the early threats and early warnings which convert the threat into the opportunities okay now next one is it helps in tapping resources tapping resources means collecting resources according to the changes first we get the uh, we get the information about the changes and then we get the um, first mover advantage then we convert our threat and early warnings into the, our opportunity and after getting this opportunity we we uh, what we want the resources then in this point business environment is very important because we uh, uh, by the help of uh, help of it we have to know that what are the requirements of changes what we require to modify our product okay so business environment we can say that helps in tapping useful resources means helpful in collecting useful resources now next is next point is it helps in coping with rapid change coping with rapid change means we have to change according to the change in the environment we have to change our policies our plan means make modification in our policies and in plan with the rapid change because as we learn earlier it is a dynamic process which means business environment is very dynamic we have to we have to up to date okay so we collect the information and then we make changes in our company and get the first mover advantage or we can say that we 
convert our threat into our opportunity okay next one is it helps in assisting in planning and formulation as we learn from the starting of this uh, these features first uh, it helps in getting first mover advantage it helps in identify our th threats and early warnings and then we when uh, then we convert our threats into our opportunities then we have to collect our resources okay and after that we can we can rapidly uh, up to date uh, uh, to this uh, to this situation and make changes according to that so all these points is very 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 helpful in making plans it provide a base for a planning okay so we can say that study of business environment is very important in making plans and policies okay i hope you all have understand next is now dimensions of business environment dimensions means we can say that components now here dimension means the specific for uh, the forces now the external forces are divided according to the to these points like economic environment social environment eco political environment legal environment technological environment okay so in this point we have to understand the dimensions of external forces okay now number 1 is economic environment it refers to the economy economic means it is related to economy this force covers interest rate fiscal policy economic reforms budgets and etc which affect our economy okay means all these these the forces which are related to our economy which affect our economy comes under the economic development okay like let's we take an example like budget budget uh, changes in every financial year at 28 feb it was announced at 28 february okay so every year this effect this also affect our company so we also make changes according to the budget according to the tax rates according to the policies which they makes okay now so all these forces are related to economic environment next is technological environment now technological environment means oh, oh. yes technical technological environment means which affect our environment technically like yes it is related to technology means new methods new techniques for operating a business if there is any change in the technology then it is mandatory for a company to adopt that technology if they want to survive in the market so we can say that the technological environment forces also affect our company next one is social environment social environment means social environment means related to the society related to the people which includes customs values traditions social trends lifestyles fit fit uh, festivals etc all these forces also affect our business okay or or our co company let's take an example due to festivals and functions increasing increases the demand of dresses demand of sweets in the market so we can say that these forces comes under the social environment and it is also affect our business because our business is also exist in a society and also grow in a society 
now next one is economical environment which we have learned economic environment related to the economy all the all the forces which affect our economy comes under the economic environment now next one is legal environment now legal environment related to the laws legislations acts passed by the government by the supreme court by the high court like companies act made for the company which in which a company has to register in a have to register in a act then it is legally approved like consumer protection act workers compensation act all these forces affect the company externally so all these comes under the legal environment sorry it is a political environment the picture of picture is political environment wait a second okay so i hope you all have understand the legal environment means which means the laws leg legislations acts passed by the government by supreme court by high court which affect our companies like companies act uh, workers compensation act consumer protection act all these related to the legal environment now next one is political environment now here political environment related to the political party it is fully different from the legal environment students are um, always confused between the legal environment and political environment legal environment is different because it um, it includes all the laws and regulation uh, regis, legislation and act passed by the government now here political environment which is related to the political party all the decisions which are which is which uh, will take by the government comes under the um, political environment let's take an example um when the bjp party comes under the uh, in our india after the independence then what uh, what we uh, what uh, they was done they ban all the mncs and stop the international trade in the market in the indian market okay which affect our current uh, which affect our Uh, the companies which affect the companies of the india means our domestic companies then when uh, then uh, when the party changes and next party comes and under the existence then what they have done they give the permission to the um, mncs to come and trade in the in india okay so here uh, these changes like first uh, when the bjp bjp come they ban the uh, international trade stop i mean mncs to come under the come under in and trade in india but when the uh, party changes then they have they give permission to the uh, to these com, uh, mncs and invite them to come and trade in the india okay so these political effects are also affect the company externally okay class our five dimensions we have done now there are two case studies which you have to read clearly and then try to solve it its answer is also here question number 2 second case study its answer is also here at last i want to say that students please concentrate on your studies find out queries and try to solve them try to solve case studies we are here to solve all your problems okay good morning sairam thank you